All right, everybody, welcome here to Loser Semifinals here at Xeno Wi Fi number 65. My name is Laird. I'm here with Jazzy, and uh, the oh, set yeah. is going to be starting right now. Let's rock. Let's go. So, getting into this game, we have Yoshi and Rob. So, what do you feel about this matchup? Because from what I can see already, it's definitely a losing battle for Yoshi. I know from a lot of people that have talked to me about this matchup, they definitely hate it either way. Um, But yeah, um, so how do you feel? I want to hard disagree with you there, actually. I think Yoshi can do pretty well in this matchup. It's just going to come down to who's on the defensive versus who's playing offense uh, at any given moment. Uh, Yoshi is a character who can really uh, get somebody in disadvantage and keep them there for a long time. They have a lot of momentum and, and mobility, um, as well as really good callout options with like really fast up smash um, and a lot of really good aerial punishes. Rob's a character that really struggles when they're in disadvantage. So I definitely think Yoshi has a good chance here. But the thing is, if um, a Rob is in advantage, there are a few characters better in this game. So it's going to be volatile for damn sure, but I happen to believe that um, if Slade plays their A game, they have a good chance to win this thing. Absolutely, but already taking that first set, we have um, Heretta, and already making it even Slade, very good by Slade, um, I mean, from their part, so yeah, um, definitely for sure, um, definitely to see um, who's going to have the best advantage in this case. Um, you know, either way, you know, Rob gets to push buttons and Yoshi gets to do the same thing. It's just who's going to do it better at this point. Yeah, these these characters definitely need to mind uh, their positioning at all times and they need to they need to make sure that they're not giving their opponent any openings. Like Heretta's really been good at calling out Slade jumping over his head and hitting him with the up air um, and then pushing him into the corner and, and just stacking up the damage as it comes. The thing is, whenever Slade gets an advantage, they're really good at juggling and, and hitting these um, random options onto Heretta, and Heretta's just not having a very easy time of getting out of it. So, a positioning is definitely going to be crucial here in this matchup. As you can see, uh, Heretta calling him out with a down throw up smash. Very good on their part. Noticing that um, Slate isn't really going to try too much to mash out of that. So definitely, um, that's probably something they're going to be looking for the most. Um, just that down throw and up smash. Um, yeah. Honestly, um, Definitely, this is looking like it's going to be a very hard hill to climb for um, Slade. Um, so, anything that they can probably do to kind of um, push their advantage a lot further would mean that they can make this even and try their best to to make this um, a definitely game. Oh, the gyro placement was so smart. It ended up clipping Slade's double jump and uh, knocking them off stage. They weren't able to come back from that. So that game one, it looks all Heretta. Um, this is actually a match from a little bit earlier in the night, but you get to see the zero to death again from Z minus. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Um, but it, it's definitely gonna come down to, you know, if Slade can put their opponent into disadvantage because towards the latter end of that match, um, my man Heretta was really content to just hang back and, you know, throw gyro, shoot out uh, the laser beams, and just really do a good job of calling out Slade's approaches. So if they can circumvent that and they can play a little bit more of a refined, aggressive style without falling into these uh, pitfalls that Heretta has set up for them, I definitely can see Slade coming out on top of this one. But we're going to go to game two. Uh, it's going to be Battlefield. I think it's a good stage for Yoshi. What do you think, Jazzy? Um, so definitely um, good stage in terms of continuing continuing their um, advantage with um, their combos and whatnot. So definitely I can see that working for Yoshi, but as it seems, as we see from Heretta, you know, their advantage has been pretty good. So they're gonna have to be definitely very careful, but we can also see this um, work in both of their favors just due to the nature of Battlefield itself, extending combos and whatnot, so. It's gonna come down to who utilizes their sharking abilities better. Um, and right now, Slade's just moving around a little a little bit much. They really haven't been set in any uh, defined position throughout this match. And something Slade really likes to do in particular is use uh, platform movement to really throw off their opponent. The thing about Rob's hitboxes is that they're so big sometimes that uh, Slade has a really difficult time of actually using that movement uh, effectively. And uh, Heretta's just so good at calling them out wherever they are. Absolutely. So right now we're seeing um, her, um, Slade 
kind of struggling a little bit, trying to get their damage going on right now. Um, very nice up air, oh, though, coming yeah. in from Heretta. Good call Reading out. their air dodge. That move has a built-in DI mix-up. Um, I think the move sends opposite of whatever hand it hits. Um, or it, it sends out from whatever hand it hits. I don't I don't remember how it goes. It's it's a really it's a really hard thing to escape DI. out of too. Um and already we see Slade at like 73% on 80% now on their second stock. Heretta still holding strong with that uh first stock as well. Absolutely. <laughs> um something definitely noticing a lot more. Um Slade is definitely really using the um, platforms to their advantage. I kind of see that they're not really being too safe as well though um but right. almost killing right there yeah i would definitely hope that they try to be a little bit more wary about how they actually position their buttons and whatnot um just because that's probably one of the most important things especially for this character um to kind of thrive absolutely um the thing about slate is they really like to you know play back a little bit and uh, call you out with these eggs in order to start combos. Heretta's playing such a good job defensively and uh, putting their shield up just in time to avoid the eggs uh, that, you know, Blade isn't really doing, ha having a very good time at, at long range dealing extra damage with the eggs uh, and starting things from a distance. So Heretta's definitely playing this matchup really well. Absolutely. So well, um, actually it being even almost, almost, um, but definitely you can see very nice getting out of that um, down throw up, um, up smash. Very nice from Slade. Finally adapted um, to that too. Yes, absolutely. Um, but going to see if they can actually, you know, try and um, be very calm and patient, trying not to, you know, mess up too much before, you know, they actually lose their stock because if they can actually um, play it enough to get some really good, like, um, percent on Heretta, we can see a definite comeback from Slade coming in here. Yeah, and it, it starts here. This is where the rage starts building, and uh, Heretta's getting to that percent where it might end up killing, but the up throw on that platform is going to be ending t that stock. This is tournament stock for Slade. Uh, best of five does not start until losers finals, so uh, this is huge for Slade. They need to hold strong here if they want to go to a game three. Absolutely. They're just going to need to be very careful. Is that going to kill? Um... Oh, nice back air. Yeah, Very nice. on that air dodge, the frame Very trap. Nice, nice. Oh, okay. Slade's moving now. They're really moving. They're trying to win. Honestly, once you said that, they kind of have to go into a, you know, fight or flight mode. Absolutely. They, they kind of realize the situation they're in right now, and uh, they do not want to end it here. They want to go to a game three. Uh, they want a chance to go and, and win this thing. Um, and right now, you know, the percents are almost even. Um, Yoshi and Rob are pretty decently heavy characters. The thing about Rob is he's big, he gets hit pretty easily, but he's got a little bit of firepower. Oh, going for the, the burner boost. Not gonna kill there, however. Um, yeah. oh. definitely need to be really careful of that. Yeah. Uh, right now, we could be seeing, um, Peretta just kind of take oh. away this little That's hope it. for Slade. And yes, there it that is. is going to be it. Man, that down tilt uh, punished any pressure that Slade was trying to put on the ground. And uh, the no tech led right into that down smash beautifully. Yeah, look at that back air. That, that, that's what started the beginning of the end. It put Slade in a bad habit uh, and they just wanted to, they wanted to end it. They wanted to start something. They got really desperate at the end there and uh, Heretta was able to capitalize off of that missed tech, um, punishing the offense from Slade with a little bit of his own. So good stuff for both these players. Heretta is going to advance into the next round. Uh, and they will be playing against Dark Falcon next, I think. Absolutely. So that's um, Rob, this, um, Belmont, one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely that matchup is going to be very interesting to see. So we have been having um, this um, Dark Falcon play really good well recently. I remember, I think it was last week that they actually... Um, we're doing really well. I can't remember what place they got, but um, definitely were, remember watching their sets. Um, they were very close to pulling out uh, and, and winning the whole thing, I think. Uh, I think they ended up third, if I'm not mistaken, because because uh, Jonathan won. Or, yeah, Jonathan won. I forget who they played. Oh, it was Jay Grunt. Jay Grunt, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. 
Okay. Be very yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, Dark Falcon is well on their way to possibly becoming the best Belmont in Tri-State, if you want my opinion. 